What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna showing you guys the Air Jordan 5, Aqua. Okay guys, so here we have it. These dropped last week, but I wasn't able to review it because I was away on my vacation for my birthday last Saturday. Um, this is the box though, pretty dope box. As you guys can see, we get the Aqua Jumpman at the top. I did go to size 9.5 on here. We do not get a suggested retail, but the retail on this was $200. All right, now open up the top of the box here. We do get a stamp on the inside of the box, as you guys can see. On the bottom half of the box, it does come with the uh, paint splatters down there in black and gray. Okay, we also get the paint splatters on the tissue paper as well. Okay, pretty nice. Take out the shoes right here. I really do like the colorway. Um, very easy to match with. On the inside of the box, we do get the green sticker right there. As you guys can see, nothing else in the inside of the box. We don't get an extra pair of laces on these. Um, but actually, let me show you guys this real quick before we get any further. Um, the lace lock on this as well is pretty nice. We get a translucent lace lock and then we get the Jumpman lace lock with the Jumpman being in like a gold or yellow. I'll show you guys that real fast. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Aqua 8s, this is a different type of Aqua. I still do get those Charlotte Hornet vibes though with like this light blue and like this yellow color. Um, pretty nice shoe. Once again, I love the new buck on this. It's very tight when you guys look at it, but this is the craziest market I've ever seen. Like ever since StockX and Go and all these different sites came out, um, I've never seen a shoe go for like under retail a day or two after it came out normally before like it was a stock x and only was flight club because that's what really was the mecca of where you went to go and sell shoes and compare prices back in the day i've never seen a shoe go down 50 bucks 40 bucks like a day before or even before a shoe comes out built off hype so um this market is the craziest thing i've ever seen and you could get these for under retail at the moment even though these just came out a week ago so keep that in mind when you guys are buying some shoes if it doesn't have a lot of hype behind it it's probably going to go under retail and you guys can save a little bit of money that way if you try to get it in Foot Locker, it's not going to go on sale until months later so um you know if you guys are into buying off the resale market that's probably the best choice but let's get right into it guys on the bottom of the shoe here we get this translucent bottom in that aqua color we'll see the jump man down there as well like a dark navy blue we see the jordan written out on the black part of the outsole okay pretty nice looking at the midsole slash outsole of the shoe we get black on majority of it towards the front with the shark teeth we get some yellow and some blue there and we also see that translucent aqua as well on the outside and on the inside of the shoe towards the back of the shoe here we get this clear milky translucent in the air bubble towards the back pretty nice now coming up to the body of the shoe right here we get this nice and tight new buck on the shoe in black now these will attract a lot of dust and lint so make sure you guys are aware of that and keep them clean at all times and make them look fresh at all times we get this clear netting in the middle of the shoe right there and we get like some mesh under that okay show you guys the inside of the shoe same thing right here pretty nice now when you put your hands on this shoe it does have a little bit of a pattern change on both the outside and the inside but you have to look very close um, but other than that, I really do like the color scheme on here. It's very basic colorway, so you can match this up and match it down with a lot of things, in my opinion. Okay, coming towards the front of the toe box here, we get this black on the toe box and like this tight new buck. And pushing down on these will crease up pretty easily, even though you can't see it creasing up right here. So if you want to have these looking nice at all times, in my opinion, put some world shoes in them. Looking at the mud guard right here, we get some black on the mud guard as well. Looking a little bit further down, we get some more of that black stitching and then we get the black creeping up from the bottom of the shoe now unfortunately we only do get one pair of laces in these and it comes to black laces at the bottom of the tongue we get some neoprene right there right before we get until the clear netting in the background of that has that mesh under it once again and on the top half of the shoe we get this 3m reflective tongue which shows in a silver okay but then when you put the flash on it it is very bright and nice to show you guys that real fast really dope in my opinion that's one of the best things about the air Jordan 5 in my opinion okay and then we get the jump man right there in that aqua colorway all right, on the back of the tongue here, we have Air Jordan right there in yellow. The background of that is in black, pretty dope. On the actual sock lining of the shoe, it's like an ashy black. I'll show you guys that real fast, okay? We do get some tissue inserts on these. On the actual insole, we get the aqua color on the insole with the Jumpman being in like that yellow gold with, this, with the sizing sticker on top of that. This is the comfortable insole. We do get the comfortable insoles on this shoe, the Dream Cell polyurethane insole. Makes the wearing experience a lot better. Under the actual insole, we get white with some white tape holding down some of the stitching. Okay, the production dates on this was 05-24-22 to 10-14-22. Give you guys a quick look at that real fast. On the back of the shoes right here, it's all black. And then we get the Aqua Jumpman right there. And then we see some more black rubber. And then it goes down to that translucent sole. Okay, 
Now, I'm gonna show you guys my footers in the toe box right now. But they look like on feet, pretty clean in my opinion. Number two, size nine, I'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes. In my opinion, Air Jordan 5s do run a little bit big, but I still like to go up half a size. In my opinion, they kind of fit like the Air Jordan 4. The front of the toe box is not the problem for me, as you guys can see my big toes right here, and I have a good amount of space at the top of the shoe. But I do feel a little bit of this material right here, just like on the Air Jordan 4. Um, now, it's not as bad as the Air Jordan 4 when you go up half a size, but you know it's just always a better wearing experience when I do go up half a size in my shoes. Um, now, I do have one pair unlaced and one pair tied up. This is normally how I like to wear my shoes right here. So as you guys can see, I have no slippage on here, just in case you guys was thinking about going up half a size. If you have a wider foot or need a little bit of extra space, I do suggest you guys to go up half a size, but this shoe is definitely a true to size fitting shoe. Um, other than that, they feel really nice on feet especially with that polyurethane insole the dream cell insole so um yeah just want to let you guys know that and i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned